The voice of the Browns, Jim Donovan, sat down with number 95 for an exclusive interview today. And I would imagine, Jim, that he's still beaming from uh, from his play on Sunday. Yeah, but today was about something completely different for him. This is a very, very interesting guy. Yeah. Miles Garrett has a love of the arts. And in particular, he has a love of art. He loves poetry, too. But he's really into art. And it becomes very personal for him. So... He unveiled today, with the help of an artist that he commissioned, Lauren Pierce, he unveiled his second piece of work in his Voices of Clee presentation. And there it is on the side of the United Way of Greater Cleveland Building in Playhouse Square. What is it? It's his grandmother and him as a boy. His grandmother had an amazing influence on his life. She never got to see him play in the NFL. But he walked the line that she drew for him, and so therefore, he wanted her drawn with him. And so this is the presentation today. He was thrilled with it. Nothing about the four and a half sacks from last <laughs> Sunday today. It was all about grandma and the great influence that she has had on his life. And now that we have it in downtown Cleveland, I sat with him in the lobby of the Palace Theater today, and he was floored by what he saw. So I don't think there's a better spot to put up you know, someone significant to me uh, than you know, a spot like this. I think you know, everyone should be able to, to see it, view it. And as they're going in to see a beautiful show, see a beautiful piece of art, and uh, you know, take it all in. When people see it, they're going to say, this is an incredible piece of art. When you saw it for the first time, what did you think? I, I thought it was amazing. I thought, I thought my dad would love it. I thought, uh, I thought back to that to that day. It's just kind of we live in those those moments, and I'm happy to be able to to give some of the some of those moments to to people in Cleveland just by being able to you know see them you no know, day to day. I just have to ask you this, okay? It's late in the ball game the other day, and all of a sudden in that stadium, 65,000 people getting ready to celebrate that win. And there's that chant, Miles Garrett. Crowd chanting Miles Garrett rhythmically. What was that like? Well, I've never had it in my life, so that was a different experience than I've ever had. Now, I felt the love like, like never before in this city, and you know, it's, it's more than reciprocated. Now, I want to keep, continue to give back to this community, give back on the field and off the field. And man, I just want to, you know, keep on making you know, this city proud. He was oh. visibly emotional. Uh, he was very emotional yeah. all day oh long. Goodness. He was very emotional about that chant. He yeah. said he, he was floored by it. Mm. He couldn't believe it. And he bowed to the crowd and thanked the crowd yeah. for it. And I think it's probably the first of many times it's happened. Back to the four and a half sacks. He was pretty <laughs> happy with that. Uh, but really, a very touching thing. Um, if you remember last year, a bunch of school kids during the Browns run uh, towards the playoffs painted something, and they yeah. said, gosh, it would be great if some of the Browns came out and saw it. Mm -hmm. And he heard that. And he did. And he masked up during COVID, and he went, and he mm -hmm. saw it and was with the kids. He's very into art. Mm -hmm. He wants to see people drive down to Playhouse Square going in to see a great show that we have down there in the theater district. And he wants maybe a young kid to say, gosh, that's great. I think I can do that. Wow. We're lucky to have him. Yeah. And I don't just mean on the football field. I mean in the community, too. He went on and said today that it's things like Sunday afternoon and things like this that have him incredibly rooted mm. in this city. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And that he wants to live here through his professional playing career, but then he wants to stay here, too. We're okay with that. Yeah. And I, I would imagine somebody's going to see him occasionally sitting at Playhouse Square staring up at that building. Absolutely, yeah, you're show. right. Yeah. All right, very good. Jimmy, thank you. Thanks, you got Jimmy. it.